welcome good evening or should i say good night everyone welcome to facebook live massage intuition at night first time let me get it a little brighter i'm definitely in the mood for sleep I think that will help. Welcome. I think that's better. Welcome, welcome. Or good evening, good night. I don't really get to say that too often. And um, I'm excited to have this one going. Hey Tosh, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining. I have the privilege of having this opportunity with you and then I will of course do my best to save this and upload it to the YouTube page that I have for Massage Intuition because I think this will be a nice little treat for people to be able to follow along with and so I'll get started. I hope more can join us. Um, I know I said come in your PJs but uh, I am in my Jungle Rose attire and if I didn't mention, uh, this evening's event is sponsored um, and brought to you by Jungle Rose, fabulous uh, merchandise from clothing attire to bags and accessories. I'll make sure to put a link in the comments um, so that you can support. It is extremely comfortable. Again, Jungle Rose. Roses grow in the jungle and uh, they are glad to help bring this. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. We do more together and they're a great small uh, business company that really can help take care of your design and accessory needs. So for those of you that don't know or are joining us for the first time, my name is Cindy Velez Mejia, licensed massage therapist, centralized my headquarters. Massage Intuition is the organization, my business, and we are centralized in Oklahoma City. Today's session is self-massage to improve sleep. And I definitely have been thinking about this one for a while. So if you've been following me, uh, you'll know that soon after COVID and shutdowns and quarantine and stay in place, I was scrambling for what can we do to help people? I love to help. My profession is close contact. Uh, we were deemed non-essential and that was strict. So how can we help people? And so I started doing just a short live. I was uh, giving some t pointers on things you could do to yourself to help improve well-being, to help relaxation, and it took off really, really well. So here we are continuing that. And um, tonight I would like to talk about ways to improve sleep. I'm delighted that we've been going strong since April. And thank you to all who have been supporting. The reason for this session was prompted months ago when I thought, man, we're all dealing with a lot of stress, um, actual health issues and issues brought on by concern and stress, and we're probably having trouble sleeping. Our sleep patterns are off. What can I do to help so that people can have improved sleep so that we'll get started now? Welcome to those who are just joining us. And so I've done my best to kind of simulate a bed. I've got my pillows over there. I've got my comfy blankets. I've got my wonderful, comfortable attire. Again, sponsored by Jungle Rose. And I thought we can go ahead and get started. So if you're ready, and if you happen to be in your pajamas, which I won't be able to see, um, and in a comfortable space, let's go over some routine things that could happen right as you get into bed or as you start to unwind so kind of like a routine um, to help and I'm gonna go over just about three or four um, techniques that you can use to help you fall asleep better the first thing I'm gonna start out with is our feet um, and do some simple techniques there but before we get started on that one of the things that works really well for me to help to kind of unwind and prep the whole body uh, for sleep is aromatherapy. And that may not work for you, and that's absolutely fine. Um, I do something as simple as take whatever brand, I'm not here to sponsor or promote any brand, but whatever brand of essential oil, and I will just take a deep breath of one of them. Um, this happens to be lavender, probably not surprised. So I'll take a nice deep breath, 
hold it and release. And it's almost just kind of preparing my whole being for getting ready to unwind. So a scent of uh, lavender. Eucalyptus is great. Peppermint is great. Frankincense is great. Um, if you have a scent that just relaxes you, by all means, utilize that. So we've taken a deep breath. You may not hear it, but in the background, I have a white noise maker. You may play some music, something to help, and you probably have a variety of things that help. A weighted blanket. You'll notice I have a salt lamp. I'm a big promoter of the improvement in sleep and quality of sleep with a salt lamp close to where you rest your head. So I have a salt lamp going and condensed to put down the lights. Now right now I probably have you looking at a phone, um, but as you go ahead and get ready to unwind, turning that off and getting ready. So let's go over the techniques that will help. So I'm going to start with my feet and just fresh out of the shower. So we're going to get to the base of the foot. You want to get right in the center of your arch. So middle of your foot is the arch. We're going to go right in the center and with any finger or thumb or whatever, multiple fingers, you can do this with no lotion or oil. I happen to be utilizing the Massage Intuition lotion bars that give just a little bit of added moisture. And I'm gonna get my thumbs, that happens to be what I use. I'm gonna get my thumbs and we're gonna go to that circular center in the arch and just push in. So this is the motion, I'm gonna push in and I'm gonna do circles with my thumb. Just a same size circle same direction, doesn't matter which direction you're going, and I'm going to do that 10 times in one direction. Nine for me, 10, and if you're doing it with me, let's go the other way 10 times the other direction. So counter or clockwise. And we're applying pressure, not to pain, but we're doing this circle while we try to get that thumb to get to the other fingers that are on the top of the foot. So 10 circles the other way. Excellent. Let's get the other foot up. Oh, now I'm officially in bed. And let's do the same. So you could add a little extra moisture. You could do this just your bare finger. I'm going to pinch and I'm going to make 10 circles one direction. Six. Applying pressure right in the circle of the arch and 10 the opposite direction. For me on this foot, and tell me if you guys notice anything, going counterclockwise was more relaxing. And 10. You could do more. If this is really working, you could do more. And if you're really having a lot of trouble, perhaps you've woken up or you've just tossed and turned a bit and you can't sleep, go ahead and add an essential oil during this. So maybe not wait, you've taken a sniff in, you can um, mix some coconut oil, a little bit of coconut oil and a drop of lavender on each finger and you can do those circles. If you'd like, you can do both feet at the same time. I know it's dark in here, I was trying to create the mood, but we're just pinching our foot so the thumb is at the bottom of our feet at that circle on the arch and we're just doing circles in the center of that arch. 10 clockwise, 10 counterclockwise. And take a deep breath. Now, we're gonna move on to our ankle. And so, I am going to try to improve that a bit and get it a little brighter, even though I hope you stay in nice, cozy, dim lighting. Okay, so I'm going to get to my ankle and to help determine where you'd like to do the pressure here, um, you have that such that bone, rounded bone in the inner ankle. So we're just going to um, put our, our four fingers um, so the pinky is at that round bone and where your index is. So right here, this is where I'm going to do some circles as well. I'm going to take my thumb right at that point and do rounded circles. 10 is a great number. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. If you followed me before, you'll know that Cindy has something called a claw. Where you're kind of coming. So it's it's a it's a softened Pac-Man. So it's almost like a C. And so the motion that's happening is I have these top fingers actually pushing down and the thumb attempting to reach them as it does these circles. And the pressure does not lighten up. The whole time the thumb is trying to get to those fingers. Not pain, but pressure. 10 clockwise, 10 counterclockwise. Good. I hope it's helping. You might not be going to bed right now, so please feel free to comment, but these would be the tips you'd use. We want to do the same on the other side. Our hand is going to measure how far up we go, and we're going to do those circles. 10 one direction, excellent, and 10 the other direction. Great. If you've not used essential oil at this point, but you would like to or think that it could help, I find it kind of neat to just put a couple of drops um, right on and this is already a diluted essential oil so I can put that right on those areas that I've just rubbed and I cover them up depending on the season but I'll go ahead and cover them up with socks and so now there's been improved circulation there's blood flow um, there's some essential oil and now there's warmth so I'll go ahead and cover that up and yes Jordan and I color coordinated just for you, even though I know you probably have great tips on bright accessories. So my feet are covered and that's cozy. What else can we do? We can do a couple of things on our hands. So we're still sitting at the side of the bed. We don't even have to get up. That's why it's a great routine in case you're awakened um, in your sleep. And we're gonna find some pressure points that can help on our hand. So hopefully our feet are relaxed if you have just a soft palm, follow your pinky straight down to your wrist. We're gonna do little pressure circles right where we get to the wrist. And we can do five circles each way and five circles the other way, clockwise and counterclockwise. Excellent, very good. Do the same on the other side. Um, it is helpful when you're doing a routine like this that's, that's to promote sleep, that you're not just saying, oh, I'm starting to feel sleepy now and that's good. Um, you may just choose to do the feet, just do both feet and five the other direction. You may choose just to do the hands, do both hands. That allows for even flow, um, for circulation, for some they say that it enhances the energy equally. So you just don't want to already be struggling with sleep and then do some of this work that now has you kind of feeling off balance. We're really trying to equalize um, that energy. If you have questions, let me know. Please feel free, I'm actively checking the comments. If this is working or you're following along and enjoying, likes, shares, and hearts are helpful to let me know um, that it is something useful. So we've done the pressure point under our pinky and you've probably heard or seen commentary about right in between uh, the index and the thumb. So I do that too, where I'll just pinch in that center piece right there. And this you could just hold. You may wanna close your eyes for a count of five. and blow out, and then the other side. Count to five as we pinch in, one, blow out for five. So we are definitely mixing deep breathing. I've suggested some aromatherapy. We're hitting in some pressure points that can help as well. But Cindy, where's the massage? Well, you'll find that a lot of these techniques we utilize as well during massage. If you are looking for some real kind of unique techniques to help sleep, emulate similar to maybe when you're either feeling pressure, maybe having a headache, usually due to stress or pressure, and you're trying to relieve it. 
So some common things that we do, right, is get to kind of our temples. It's going to be right at the end of our eyebrows. And we're going to make big, slow, directed circles. I'll come a little bit closer. Hope you don't lose your Zen feeling if you have one. But I'm going right at the edge and I'm going to do big circles. This one I'm pushing forward. Same concept the whole time. I'm giving equal pressure, the whole circle, equal pressure. And we'll do 10 of those forward. Excellent, equal pressure. And now let's do it back, slow and calculated, 10 big circles. You may go over your hairline a little bit. You'll even be able to hear that. The slow helps to really slow down even your own racing mind and the day, but it is promoting blood circulation. Six, deep breathing during this is great. Seven, eight, calculated. Nine, big circles and Nope, we're not using any oil or anything additional here. We're just letting our own finger, our own body provide that needed tension and comfort. After the, the temple, really helpful to pull on the ears. This has been a massage intuition favorite. You have given such great commentary on how this works. If you're doing it for the first time, you got me natural, no makeup and jewelry for our nighttime session. Grab the earlobe and actually pull down while pinching. Pinching not to the point of pain. You just pull. You do this sitting at the edge of your bed. I mean, I get chills and goosebumps all the way through my body. And you can work up if you have been with me before. And it's just constant pulling. If you notice with this too, if you happen to be an ASMR follower fan, there is a bit of that. Like if you're talking or not, you can hear the sound of your fingers kind of wisping past your ear, and that too can promote relaxation. So we've done the temple, just the earlobe, and then we walked up the full and pulled the whole time. I will say that's a really important piece for helpful self-massage is maintaining that pressure the whole way through, not getting light or starting tight and then getting softer. Bring that circulation, bring it all the way. And that's when you'll feel that. People say, well, my ears are red, or I felt tingling, or I felt like a, a release. Well, the continued pressure helps to accomplish that. Are we good so far? Are we starting to feel a little sleepy? We've done our feet. Our, um, we took care of the arch on the underneath. We did our ankles. We moved to a pressure point underneath our pinkies. We've now done the earlobe and pulled down the ear. Let's close out with the neck. I will show you the motion. I will need to turn around so I won't talk while I'm looking away from the camera. But we're going to identify or get to that nodule that's at the base of our skull, meaning our neck on each side. You do that by doing this with your hands. So it's a soft clasp so that your thumbs are free because they're gonna swoop on over. Okay, so clasp those fingers together, free thumbs, and we're gonna swoop on back. I'm gonna stand up and turn around. Your thumbs are now facing down and they're just gonna do this. Very similar to the big circles we did on the temples, that's gonna happen at the base. Let's do that for just a few seconds to close out. So to make sure that you are doing that right, you wanna make sure that these are clasped and that you're applying pressure. Again, the concept of the thumbs trying to get to the finger. Not painful, but applying the pressure. Once you've completed that with the circles, you can actually bring those clasped hands down to your neck and just slowly pull them down to over your shoulders. So they've separated now and they pull forward. 
So again, those hands are clasped together in the back. They're at the base. And as they get toward the base of the neck, you may have noticed my elbows come in some because as I get lower, I bring it in. So I'm applying more pressure to the neck, come down and slowly pull over each shoulder. It could be helpful to go cross and pull, pull, pull. So that cloth staying the whole time. And I'm gonna pull forward cross body and I'm gonna pull forward cross body to close this out because we should now be much more relaxed and ready to sleep. I'm just gonna do like a quick sweep. Okay, so I would be laying down at this point or at least in my bed. So now that I've done that pullover, I'm just gonna do a quick sweep, pushing on across, across. I'll do it down my legs and I'll do that twice and back up and across the chest. I should be ready for sleep now. And this routine takes more time to explain than it does to actually do. So you can by all means go through that routine with just the arch of the foot, the ankle, the pressure points across that way. If you're not feeling quite comfortable laid down yet, it's a great time to move up to the temples the earlobes, then we did that behind the neck, round circles at the base of the skull, we pulled down the neck, pulled over our shoulder, and then we did cross body pulls. So cross shoulder, pull down to, this, to your clavicle, also on the other side. This one feels really good. And for some, after you've seen this, you may identify, man, the feet is really effective. I'm just going to try that or the hands or the, and it could be nice to build up. And unfortunately there might be those nights where you have to do all of them to really fall asleep. But make sure to do that sweep where that blood just can continue to flow kind of across, almost like hugging yourself. Great time to take another whiff of some lavender. I'll go ahead and sprinkle that on my pillow. Deep breath and off to sleep. I hope this helped. Just a short little way of some pointers that could help for relaxing. It could be a great routine before a nap, just taking one of these, or doing the full routine when you sleep. Insomnia, just a moment of just overly stressed. Again, I'm Cindy Velez Mejia, licensed massage therapist. Delighted to offer you help as a virtual uh, therapist. And please feel free to reach out to me, follow Massage Intuition, Please note too that the products utilized tonight, my lotion bars, I also make body butters, I make male and female uh, body products and infant products um, are available to you. Don't forget that tonight was sponsored by Jungle Rose Quality Merchandise and Product. I thank them so much for being a part of a support network, so please check out their site and their information. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Self-care is not selfish. Sleep is self-care. May these pointers help to improve your quality of sleep. Thanks for spending time with me tonight. Have a great evening.